See, maybe this guy is a genius with his turn upsizing because what do you check calling 210 with into 150 on the flop? All right, so next caller here is going to be Josh, and it says he is from Rhode Island. Hello, Josh. How's it going, Bart? Hey. We'll jump into the hand. So we're playing we're playing 510, 3K effective at the Aria. Um, little back note on the villain. Uh, so I just sit down. I've got about 30 minutes of history with him. He opens to 50, which is a little large for this game. Normally the opening size is 30. And uh, I've seen him open to 50 twice. Everyone on the table folds. The second time he opened the 50, he showed Ace King suited, and he says, every time I have a big hand, everyone folds. So kind of based on this information, I'm already labeling him as a tight OMC who's probably going to be playing passive-aggressive. So he opens under the gun to 50. Um, the button calls. I'm in the small blind with king of clubs, queen of spades, and normally I'm always playing a three-better fold strategy. Uh, king, queen, I'm always usually three-betting this hand out of the small blind, but... I decide on just flatting, see if I can outflop him. I'm pretty sure he's got a big hand here, just based on you know what I've seen him okay. do already at the table. So, Josh, let um, me let me interject here really quick because before the people, I, I think that there are a, there's this clump of people that will say, and and I do think that this is a fold preflop against this type of um, person, but it, sometimes people have to get past some of the things that they will perceive to then just like tune out you know the rest of this particular call oh it's just a fold preflop king queen off in this small blind so i'm not going to listen to the rest of this call okay yeah it's probably a fold but if josh had king queen suited here it would probably be the same call like you'd probably call so if you want to get past all you guys that are going to say this with king queen off pretend like he has king queen suited i almost told you josh to say that you had king queen suited before the email but whatever it doesn't matter because I still think that you probably would flat here with king queen suited because it's going to be relevant to the rest yeah. of the hand. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, it's just plays, it just plays so bad against an OMCs like under the gun opening range that right. You know, but all right. So so I call. Yeah. Um, and big bind folds. So mm -hmm. we go to the flop three ways. Flop comes ace of clubs, king of hearts, queen of clubs. Ace of clubs, king of hearts, queen of clubs. By the way, can you give me the suits? I know you said it of your king queen. Just Yeah, I've got king of clubs, queen of spades. All right, king of clubs, queen of spades, and your 3K effective, is that right? Yep. Okay. So you fought bottom two, right? Yep. Ace of clubs, king of hearts, queen of clubs. You've got king of clubs, queen of spades. Okay. So um, I check out of the small blind, uh, under the gun pre-fault raiser. He overbet C bets 210 into about 150. Uh, um, button folds 210 into 150 wow yeah so the button folds and right yep. here i'm just really thinking about like i should just be folding here you know like i said it's this guy's opening range is going to be extremely strong um even if i do you know call the flop here and boat up on the turn i'm still going to be losing a lot of the time so i mean I it's a it's a very very i have made folds like this in the past it's a very very exploitable fold here when this guy over bets the pot. And again, I, I will beg you people to understand that, yes, we know it's a fold in the small blind, but I still think that Josh could have pretend it's king, queen of diamonds, okay? <laughs> that he's got king, queen without a backdoor. And we're still in the same spot. Um, I would, I have made actually check folds like this, especially against someone that's really, really tight because the only hands that you're really beating here are, like ace jack and ace 10 and the over bet for this type of um you know into two people you know on this in this spot is usually just not going to be indicative of that also you have some reverse implied odds and people don't know sometimes what reverse implied odds mean it's just like you can make a hand here which in this case would be a full boat and your hand is still not good and you lose more money. So I would actually seriously consider folding here 210 yeah. to the overbet sizing. No, and I did, but I just felt like it was a little nitty here. And I did have the king of clubs, so I came back back door my way into the nut flush. Um, but like I said, I mean, I just against this player, I just felt like it's probably a fold here on the flop. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd end up do making the call. Okay. And... The, let's see, the turn is the king of diamonds, so we do make a full house. Uh-oh. So it's $510 minus the rake, so just over 500 Well, it's a time game, so there's no rake in the game. Okay, so $510. Oh, I love Vegas, right? Uh, I got 570 in the pot. There was 150 to the flop, then he bet 210 okay. 
Right, and he bad. bet two ten on the flop, so I got what? five seventy on the turn. All right, so hero makes his full house with king queen. Okay. Uh, I check and under the gun bets five hundred. So five seventy. Hero checks in the small blind. Now this is really where it kind of gets weird because obviously you've got to be concerned that you're over full house here, right? But at yeah. the same time, under the gun bets five hundred, right into five seventy. That's a really large bet for Ace King here because it's like now he's full, right? There were yeah. two clubs out there. There were Broadway clubs. So why is he betting so much? I mean, I still think you take this obviously for a call and a check evaluate, but I think that that might have some merit here when we're doing hand reading across the river because if he's got aces full, now he could have queens here, even mm -hmm. though you have one queen. So, I mean, but of course you beat pocket queens, and queens, you know, for whatever reason, some people still feel like they need to, like, protect in a given situation, even they've got a full boat here where you'll see more checking back with aces, with ace-king, things like that, even though probably you'd rather have aces in his spot and bet on the turn versus ace-king and block a lot of, like, your your value. Because if he's got aces, you're more likely to have him, like, king-jack, king-ten, something like that. I assume you called. Yeah, I made the call. Yeah, I just don't think this guy has any bluffs. I think he's shutting down. If he's got tens or jacks, I think he's shutting down on the flop. He's not putting any money in. And like I said, if he like if he does have a hand like queens, I mean, there's only one combo of queens, mm. and then there's only two combos of king queen that we're chopping against. So we're really losing to twice as many combos compared to what we beat or chop against. So would he ever he have got... jack ten here? Jack ten suited as an open. I mean, he, like he could, but he could. I think so. I think he could have that and bet, bet the sizing on right. a turn. And, um, I, and I think this is where the truth serum comes in, right? I mean, even if it's yeah. just a totally brick river, you can obviously check call here. And I think that we can agree, like, say, if the river rolls off like a deuce or just, you know, something entirely offsuit and you check and he just, like, blasts, like, again, then, then you can start to uh, piece off some of what he might have by taking this line through the turn just to put, because people are just, you know, they'll just show down with like a, you know, with the board being paired or if the river's a club too, and he still bets, you know, he's probably not going to be betting Jack 10. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So I call the turn and yeah. then the river is the three of clubs. So it does oh, bring okay. in the front of the porch. Yeah. By the way, you have the uh, king of clubs for the nut sort of stiff card, right? Ace of clubs, yeah. king of hearts, queen of clubs, turns the king of diamonds, rivers the three of clubs. Mm -hmm. But I don't think there's anything really to be said here, but check. Yeah, that's what I do. I check, and mm -hmm. then he bets 12, 1,200, and I've gotten to 1,570. Wow. So this OMC UTG bets 1,270. I just got to interject and do a little bit of self-promo here. Again, as I had said on the top of the show, We've got a viral video going off that I put up today where I covered the Doyle Brunson fold when he bet folded Ace King as trip aces. It was in a limp pot yeah. day one of the main event a couple of days ago. The reason why I bring that up is because, you know, you can fold some big, big hands here. But when the club comes in now and you hold the king of clubs and he's still going 1270 here. I yeah, think we know they, he doesn't have Jack 10. Well, yeah, I mean, we just said that on the turn. I mean, if yeah. there's ever a time to fold, to really, really fold the full house here i really do think that this <laughs> this guy in the chat says snap call pay him off just a call people are, I consider, people are consider just a call people are considering raising i'm talking about folding here yeah i i, I no, think I you was, fold so I here for like two minutes i take yeah. like two minutes here just just to try to like you know the we lose to six combos here. We're only beating or chopping against three, really, in my mind. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and, I, and I think it's debatable whether or not he takes this sizing with queen, queen here. It's possible. But if you were just to say, okay, I mean, this is where it can get a little bit complicated because you have to start to look at what is his sizing for the turn here and also for the river. Now, let's say that he's got all the queens here because he sized up on the turn and now he's not scared on the river, you know, makes a full house. So that's three combo. Well, actually, excuse me. That's only, There's only one combo, right, of... Uh, how many combos? Queens. Yeah, there's only one combo of queens. One combo yeah. of queens, right? Now, you might also say, well, he wouldn't play aces full this way because why would he bet so much on the turn? So, you know, maybe you give him one of the three combos of aces full. But what about ace-king? 
You know, what about Ace King? There's 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 another, you got one king left in the deck, so there's three yeah, there's combos, three of, Ace combos king. of Ace King. Yeah. So I mean, you're really only gonna be getting like two to one here. And so it really has to come down to, you know, again, it's like a value overplay ratio where if you give him one combo of queens, is he really only gonna have two other combos of value here? You know, even if we only give him one combo of pocket aces. One combo of ace king. I mean, two. You'd have to really cut down those combos. So I, I could really see folding here. I, I got to be honest with you. And it, and it's not just. There's just really no bluff here. So, uh, again, I probably would have folded on the flop. This kind of brings me back to some crazy exploitable folds that I have made, you know, in the past, in a game, in a game like this, commerce against like a typical OMC. But man, I could, especially when the club comes at the end. I could yeah. really see folding now. I could really, really see folding now. Yeah, this is just a spot where like live exploits come into play. Um, I was kind of, I was telling myself like oh, I only have thirty minutes of history with this guy. I've really only seen a few hands. Is he, you know, is, he's playing five tap the Aria with a three K stack. Like, is he really that big of an OMC? But um, you know, after after playing with him for a few hours, it obviously confirmed it. And then this hand. So but, did you? Yeah, I ended up. What you do? I ended up making the call, and he, yeah, he had ace king. OMC equals ace king. <laughs> yeah, OMC yeah, equals ace king. king, and uh, it is, you know, like I said, I mean, I think the surprising part of this is that he still continued to bet so large. Um, I would say, you know, on the flop. I mean, maybe he's just, you know, obviously trying to get max value. What's interesting though is that who knows how deep he's thinking about. But when you actually think, if you knew. What if you put yourself in the OMC spot and you knew your own game, but you are the OMC, so you know that you have the image of the OMC, Josh, I bet you yeah. that you would know that you have a super tight, small blind, flat calling range. And when you check call 210 into 150, see, maybe this guy is a genius with his turn upsizing because what do you check calling 210 with into 150 on the flop? Yeah, I mean, I probably have Jack Ten there, or Jack Ten, like, Ace Queen, or King Queen. Yeah, right? Ace Queen, like two. Yeah, you yeah. Know, so, something that's totally. Yeah, something that's you know. Obviously, my hand's under repped here, just flat right. in the small blind. Right, right, um, and, right. And then I mean, yeah, okay. So you get counterfeit with Ace Queen, but then you, he's like, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to get a shit ton of value here from Ace Queen anyways. That gets counterfeit, so he bets 500, and you call. And again, now at the uh, now that you call across the flop and turn. You really do have Jack-10 here or King-Queen for the most part. Or he's so fucking tight that you flatted him with Queens and you didn't even three-bet out of the small blind. All of which he beats. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> All yeah. of which he beats. He doesn't have to worry about aces or ace or kings because he's got ace-king. So you've got Queens, King-Queen, and Jack-10. And he's just going for maximum value. Um, so it's it's it makes a whole lot of sense. I don't know if I can give this guy credit for thinking about that who knows if he's even thinking about that yes it's a fold in the small blind pre but i still think that you can get here like this with king queen suited though too uh i appreciate the call josh thank you very much all right thanks bud. all right if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel down below and to get more live cash game no limit training head over to crushlivepoker.com and you can use the code YTA400 to get the first 30 days for free.